let's have a little fun with light bulbs. And what we're really doing is investigating different types of resistor circuits. So here I have a very interesting circuit where the um, electricity, all the electricity flows through this light bulb, then it comes here and it splits, some of it going through these two, and some of it through that one, comes back together and back home. All of these light bulbs are 12 volt, 40 watt light bulbs. So they all have the same resistance, essentially. Great, so let me draw the circuit on the board. Let's draw the schematic of this. And we'll label the light bulbs while we're at it. Call this one light bulb A. Light bulb B, C, and D. So remember, they're all the exact same light bulb even if I accidentally drew them different sizes. Now, here's the question. When I turn on this power supply, which light bulb will be brightest? Which will be second brightest? And which will be third bulb? It should go A, B, C, D. Nicole says A, B, C, D. Let's see what happens. Nicole is one smart cookie. A, B, C, and D. How do we explain this? Well, all of the current is going through this light bulb, and then the current splits. How does it split? Well, you have two here and one there, so you have more resistance here, less resistance there. Therefore, more current goes this way and less current that way. And in fact, because of the ratio, of this total current, two-thirds will go this way and one-third will go that way. And that's why we get the brightness that we see. Brightest, second, and these two tie for third. They have to be a tie. Same resistance, same current. Excellent. Now, a slightly trickier question. What will happen when I take this light bulb out? So two questions. Will light bulb A be brighter or less bright than before? What do you think, Nicole? Less bright. How about light bulbs C and D? Will they be brighter or less bright than before? Brighter. Let's see what happens. Voila, Nicole wins again. What do we have here? Well, they're all equally bright. And in fact, what we have here is a series circuit. We took this guy out, and now it's just three light bulbs in a series. They're all going to be the same brightness. And, you know, it's probably hard to tell, but light bulb A is, should be less bright than before. And maybe what I'll do is turn the voltage down so that you can see that effect a little greater. So I'll keep it here. So there's light bulb A. Now watch what happens when I put this light bulb B back in. It's brighter. Light bulb A gets brighter because the current increases. When I add back in this path here, well now I have, whoops, now I have a parallel circuit and we know that to calculate the total resistance, you would add them up in parallel. And, and this R2 is actually plus R3 because these two are in series. Well, these are all the same too. But my point is, is the total resistance, R total, is smaller than what the resistance would be when they're in series. And therefore, more current flows, and therefore light bulb A is brighter. And again, I'll show you the effect. Taking this light bulb out will make it dimmer. And you can see light bulb A got dimmer. Excellent. All right, one last question on this circuit. So let's go back to how we had it. This is originally how it's all wired up. Light bulb A, B, C, and D. And now what I'm going to do is use these alligator clips to short circuit light bulb C. 
And you know what, let me turn the voltage down just a little bit so we can see the effect on the camera. Okay. So, uh, a little higher. Okay. So now, I will short circuit light bulb C, and the question is, two parts. Will light bulb A get brighter or dimmer? Will light bulb B get brighter or dimmer? What do you think, Nicole? I think they should both get brighter. Both get brighter. Let's see what happens. So, on the count of three, I will short circuit light bulb C. One, two, three. And hopefully you saw the effect. Let me take it off. And now watch. You can see that light bulb B got dimmer and light bulb A got brighter. Pretty interesting. How can we explain that? Well, if we get rid of light bulb C, so I short circuited it, which basically means it's out of the equation because the electricity will take the least resistive path, which is clearly the wire. Uh, and the wire is almost zero resistance, so it gets almost all the electricity. Great. So this is our new circuit. And how does this change things? Well, now the resistance here in this part of the circuit and the resistance here in that part of the circuit are the same. Therefore, these two guys get the same electricity. And in fact, it's split evenly. So this light bulb gets a little less. This guy gets a little bit more. Now, light bulb A gets brighter because, well, it's still a parallel circuit, but now the resistance here is less. And if you work it out, it's the difference between this total resistance and this total resistance. And if you work this out, you'll see that this one is, um, this one is smaller, and therefore you get more current through light bulb A, and therefore it's brighter. There you go. Fun with life.